Happy New Year, everybody. Second one, there's no better way to begin this year. There's, there's no better way to begin 2020 with a DDT4 tutorial. What you think about it? Yeah. And uh, today's video, it's very easy but very helpful, I guess. So uh, maybe you bought uh, a second-hand Renault and uh, you will uh, find uh, if the dealer hasn't uh, turned down the kilometers or the mileage. So in this little video, we are going to see and to check the real kilometrage or the real mileage of the car by simply using the DT4 all software and the OBD2 interface. Uh, I leave uh, the link in the description to buy the OBD2 interface, I suggest, because it's the uh, most um, it's the most compatible one and I suggest you to buy this. Okay guys, let's start with the video. Okay guys, so we are ready to do this little but uh, I had a I hope helpful tutorial for you. So first of all, start DDT for all. Once uh, DDT for all is starting, I, I always suggest you to, uh, I said it many times, but uh, I always suggest you to use the, the dash always active. So before do any tutorial, please press the start stop button of the car for at least a couple of seconds so the, the dashboard will remain active for all the process and uh, there are no risk to harm your car because if the dash will shut down and the car will lock for any reason you maybe will uh, you will maybe break the Arling 2 or uh, your car so please pay attention and uh, always use the dash active and uh, second one I I leave you in description the the Amazon link where you can buy the the OBD2 interface it's cheap it's cost about uh, 15 euros and uh, I suggest this one because it's the um, it's the one with the best compatibility with uh, DDT4 uh, software and uh, I use uh, the one I give you in to the link of the description and it works very well so here we are uh, I know that okay, I can arm my car as usual uh, connect to uh, Wi-Fi interface and let's go with connection mode the software will open and then make more room uh, select the car you have, as always, uh, I have the Renault Megane 4, so I select the Renault Megane 4. Uh, where is it? Here, Megane 4. But if you have uh, the uh, Chenic, the Colios, the Kajar, the Space, Espace, uh, the one you have. Except B. Now, the, we have to go here in ABS ESC, ECU, double click, uh, double click once again. And uh, you have to cl click on this uh, uh, cluster. When you double click on it, uh, uh, in the dash you will see that the ABS light uh, will start to blink. It means that the uh, the software is connected to the is connected to the ABS ECU. So don't worry if, if it blinks, but uh, it only means that the the ABS ECU is uh, in a reading mode. So uh, when you turn off the car and re reopen it, uh, it will uh, stop blinking. Don't worry. Now we have to go here in parametrage. Once we are in parametrage, we have to go in odometer reset. Don't worry if you click it, you won't reset your, your odometer. It's simply the, the interface to reset it. Now, as you can see here, we have the real kilometers or the, the real mileage of the car. As you can see, uh, I'm showing you, uh, mine, uh, mine has the exact uh, uh, kilometers because I bought when I when I bought it it was new so all the all the kilometers are done by me so <laughs> I'm sure that uh, I I did all the kilometers um, very important thing and uh, very very important I repeat uh, with this uh, in this part you can fake uh, the kilometers or the mileage of the car so. I'm assuming you are watching this video only for educational purpose. You don't, you won't have to uh, modify any of the kilometers of the car because it's strictly illegal. So uh, I'm, I'm hoping that you are not doing uh, for any of these purpose, but just for educational use and to uh, and just to know if the car you maybe have about used has the real kilometers or the real mileage as the dealer said to you. Okay, now another fun thing to watch is this: you uh, you can go here in diagnostic, double click to open, and status and monitoring data. This is very fun because when the car is in motion so now i am uh, i am still in a park so the car is not <laughs> is not actually actually working now 
when you when you are moving, you can see the lateral acceleration, the longitudinal acceleration, and all these parameters uh, calculated by ABS uh, ECU. So it's very fun to see when you are moving the lateral acceleration you have or the longitudinal acceleration you have when you may be accelerating from zero to 60 miles per hour or 100 kilometers per hour. And uh, when you brake here, you can see the pressure you are uh, you are doing on the brake pedal, and it's very fun. And also in this part, the speed endometer, you can see the uh, real speed of each wheel. So maybe if you are uh, making a left turn, you will see the uh, inner, you will see the inner uh, wheel that goes faster than the outer wheel because of the differential. Maybe if you have uh, four wheel steering like the Megane GT or the Megane RS, you will see also the back rear, the, the sorry, the, the rear wheels that will spin at different uh, speeds. And here you have also, once again, the uh, real kilometers of the car, so you, you can check it twice. Uh, okay, this tutorial was... Uh, I, I'm not saying that it's a tutorial, but uh, the, it was very short compared to the other one, but I hope it will be helpful for a lot of people, because a lot of you ask me this, uh, how, how to check uh, the real kilometers of the car. And uh, if you like the video, please uh, subscribe, drop a like and leave me a comment because by doing this you help me to grow and you help the channel to grow and uh, you help me to make even more videos. I hope you guys liked it and uh, see you next time. Bye!